Hi, and welcome to another DE Hammer video. In today's video, we'll be going over how to close paths. All right, I will be using Carbide Create Pro build 514. They used to have a free one year trial for the pro version, but I am not seeing that that link works. So, but you can all, always use Carbide Create. You don't need the pro version for what we're doing. First thing we want to do is import our file here. And I've come up with a test file here for us to use. And the first thing you'll notice is these two are blue and this one is black. That is because this is a closed path and these are open. So let's select all these and go over to tool paths and pocket real quick. Now you'll notice the one on the right is the only one that has the pocket applied. These two don't. So the color of your lines will determine if it is a open or closed path. Carbide creates a really nice way if you need to close a path up, select here. We'll come over to the edit and we'll select the joined vectors. Close it as a path. So if we come back to tool path, pocket, It'll pocket. Awesome. So let's go back to design. Now this middle one looks like, hey, this should be a closed path. But if we zoom in real close, hey, there's a gap. So we'll select this and boom. Now that was kind of easy. I knew where it was. So sometimes you won't know where it is. And I think that's just a really cool feature in Carbide uh, Create is that you can just select it and close it because let's say if you're using illustrator you literally have to find the two ends that are not and join them with Control j and c here too we want to make sure we select those two join yay again now we have closed paths and for inkscape uh, it's been a while since I've used Inkscape. We'll okay, make sure that's selected and that's selected. Then we'll come up here, join selected, and it will close it. And same for right here. Boom, closed. All right, and that does it for this video. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching my videos. If you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button. And if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave them down below. I will respond and help you out to the best of my ability. So until next time, keep making stuff.